NASA was formed in 1958. Responding to the successful launch of the Soviet space satellite Sputnik, President Dwight Eisenhower signs the National Aeronautics and Space Act, officially establishing NASA. NASA was formed in 1958 partly out of a previously existing government agency called NACA that just dealt with aeronautics and then with the early space program that was being developed by the Army and the Air Force. Morrison the President and Congress established NASA as part of the Department of Defense. One of the main reasons was to prevent the Soviets from stealing U.S. technology, but many people believe the real motive for this classification was not to hide information from the Soviets but to keep it secret from the American public. The Brookings Report, which was commissioned by NASA right after NASA itself was created, essentially was commissioned for the purpose of deciding what NASA should do if in fact they made some sort of extraterrestrial contact, if they either found artifacts on the Moon or on Mars or if they had direct contact with a superior intelligence, what they should do, and the Brookings report says very specifically, number one, don't tell anybody. If you tell anybody, it will shatter the fabric of our civilization. It will destroy us. Bara. Researchers believe the connection to ancient Egyptian beliefs can also be found in the emblem of NASA's Apollo space program. They claim that the large A in the star field stands not for the Greek god Apollo but for Asar, the Egyptian god more commonly known as Osiris. The question many have raised, why has NASA utilized ancient historical symbols and mythology in their logos and missions? Why would a technologically oriented institution pay attention to ancient symbols? Egypt, Orion. This is indicated by the cluster of three stars in the center of the A, which represent the stars of Orion's belt. Knowing this, you cannot help and wonder if Cirrus and Orion are really that important to NASA as they were to ancient civilizations, since this is where the ancient traditions, including Egyptian, have said that the space gods came from, basically suggesting it is where the human race originated from. What is even more interesting is the fact that researchers point out that the symbol on the Mercury mission patches is nearly identical to a major icon of ancient Egypt. When you observe the mission patch you cannot help but see that thy symbol is almost identical to the Egyptian which is ironic that you have this type of Egyptian symbolism when you should have a representation of Mercury the messenger, having said that the symbol used in the Mercury should be a Greek symbol rather than the Egyptian. 32-year-old engineering genius Wernher von Braun was acknowledged by everyone as the greatest scientific mind in Germany. He found a way to steer a rocket at 4,000 miles an hour. He put a combustion chamber that was cooled by the liquid fuel itself, and redesigned the fuel chamber, and he put a guidance system on it. He was an expert at every facet of rocketry, which is really unheard of. During World War II von Braun worked as the technical director at Germany's Peenemünde Research Center, building weapons. After Germany's defeat, von Braun and his team of scientists were brought to the United States under a controversial classified program known as Operation Paperclip. While he continued his work designing military missiles, von Braun also published several books and numerous articles which described his concepts for a lunar landing also a manned mission to Mars and the orbiting space station. All of what von Braun described years ago, eventually became reality and if it wasn't for von Braun's space flight today would be at a very different stage. Von Braun became the leading man of NASA in a short period of time. According to the National Security Action Memorandum No. 271, JFK secretly proposed to merge NASA's space program with that of the Soviets. The question is why? When it appeared that Americans were finally moving ahead in the race for space would JFK offer to share technologies with America's rival? According to conspiracy theorists, it's because something was discovered along the way, or better said rediscovered, and that is that we are not the only intelligent beings living in the universe, out there beyond our reach at the moment, there are intelligent civilizations thriving on alien planets, these beings according to many, have been on Earth in the past and are still today here, working with governments.